Tis breath thou lackst, and that breath wilt thou lose. Methinks I am a prophet new inspired, and thus expiring do foretell of him. His rash, fierce blaze of riot cannot last, for violent fires soon burn out themselves. Small showers last long, but sudden storms are short. He tires betimes that spurs too fast betimes, with eager feeding food that choke the feeder. Light vanity, insatiate cormorant, consuming mean, soon preys upon itself. This royal throne of kings, this sceptred isle, this earth of majesty, this seat of Mars, this other Eden, demi-paradise, this fortress built by nature for herself against infection on the hand of war, this happy breed of men, this little world, this precious stone set in the silver sea, which serves it in the office of a wall or as a moat, defensive to one house against the envy of less happier lands. This blessed plot, this earth, this realm, this England, this nurse, this teeming womb of royal kings, feared by their breed and famous by their birth, renowned for their deeds as far from home, for Christian service and true chivalry, as is the sepulchre in stubborn jury of the world's ransom. Blessed Mary's son, this land of such dear souls, this dear, dear land, dear for her reputation through the world, is now leased out. I die pronouncing it to a tenement or pelting farm, England bound in with a triumphant sea whose rocky shore beats back the envious siege of watery Neptune, is now bound in with shame, with inky blots and rotten parchment bonds. That England that was one to conquer others hath made a shameful conquest of itself. Ah, would the scandal vanish with my life. How happy then were my ensuing death. <laughs>